What the? What are you doing here? Sorry, I don't mean to sound like I'm not happy to see you. It's not that I'm not happy to see you, I promise. I just wasn't expecting you. <laughs> You're right. If I knew, it would defeat the point of a surprise. Oh, yeah, no. I'm good, I'm okay. Um, yes, I'm sorry about not answering you this past two weeks. I know that... Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, come in, come in. Sorry, <laughs> I have to get out of this conversation inside. Um... I know that I've kind of just disappeared, and I'm sorry. I know that's really not fair to you, and that you deserve more than two word responses. No reason, I mean, I think I've just been kind of busy Um, busy doing nothing, to be honest. I've been doing a whole lot of nothing. And not the type of nothing where I'm just ignoring you and having fun. It's the type of nothing where I just sit in here all day, every day, hoping for something to change. Even though I know it won't until I change it. So it's been, um. It's been a rough few days. I know I could have called you. I know. But my baggage isn't your burden to bear. Listen to me. I know you are my best friend and you do care and you think it is your burden to bear it all, but it's not. And I didn't call you because this isn't something you can fix. This isn't something where you tell me a joke and I just smile and I feel better. This is something I am stuck in. And I just... I know you well enough to know that not being able to fix me would make you really unhappy. But it's not something you can fix. It's just something I have to work towards, and I didn't want to see you upset because I can't get my shit together. I know, I know, I know. I just, I don't think you quite get it. I've been sitting here crying for almost two weeks. You being here wouldn't have made it stop. You being here wouldn't have made me feel better. And I'm sorry if that's harsh, but it's the truth. This has been going on for years. And I've seen what it does to the people that care about me to know 
that I'm struggling and they can't fix it. They blame themselves. Until eventually they start spiraling too. And I didn't want to do that to you. Because I am strong enough to handle it. It just takes some time. And it's hard to talk about what I'm feeling. It's really hard. And it's just a lot that I can't really talk about. Why? It's hard to talk about. There aren't any words. There aren't enough words. There's too much, too little, too crazy, too calm. It's just... It's a lot. And tell you. <laughs> you want me to tell you. I... Okay. I... I know it's okay to cry, but I've been doing nothing but crying, so I like to get through this without crying, so. Okay. When I look in the mirror now, and I see myself, the only thing that goes through my head is, oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> and I know that I'm not as emotionally strong as I once was because I'm not in a place where I have to be emotionally strong. But, I don't think people ever talk about this, and I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm the one very few people feel this way, or maybe a lot of people feel this way, and no one talks about it, but... no one talks about what it's like to go from being super strong emotionally life could throw everything at once at me and it did oh god did it but I survived like it was nothing like, it was as easy as breathing. But now... It's just a small inconvenience pops up. And it's just like the world hates me. And I just, I know that that's not realistic. But... I don't know how to explain it. just I <laughs> I don't know how to explain it <laughs> and that's all so so frustrating I'm feeling it all so deeply and quite literally everywhere and I'm trying so hard to convey what it is I'm feeling but I just can't think of any words that describe it and then I get frustrated with myself because I can't explain it I guess the only thing that comes close enough is 
I feel weak. <laughs> and I guess to me that just tanks my confidence and my self-worth. Because that was all I ever was. <laughs> I was the strong one. If anyone ever needed anything, it was me they came to. <laughs> And now, there's no need for anyone to be strong anymore, and I just feel like I've lost my purpose. And I know. And I know that. It's been years. Since, um, I've had to be as strong as I was. But, I didn't really change, you know? Everyone else around me is changing and growing and, you know, and I just feel like I'm still there. I'm still stuck and I don't know what to do. feels so hopeless and bleak and I know it's not I know I'm sure I'll feel better in a week or I'll be fine by tomorrow hopefully <laughs> but this really sucks right I feel like I've cried more in the past two days than I have in the past two years. And maybe that's what I need, I don't know. Because, I mean, the tears just won't stop falling. So... I just... <sighs> I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know who to be. I've lived my whole life for other people. And now that it's time to start living it for myself, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> That's it, I have no idea what I'm doing. I know, I know, I don't have to have it figured out today or tomorrow, but I have no idea. And we're not kids anymore, it's time to at least have an idea. Or at least it's a direction to head in, so I'm not just sitting here. But that's all I'm doing, I'm just sitting here, hoping. Someone will call me or come over because they need me and I'll be able to have purpose again. But it doesn't happen. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. I appreciate you coming over to check out. That really means so much more than you know. But I'll be okay. You don't have to worry about me. Self-preservation is what I'm best at. <laughs> I know. I know. Do me a favor. Spare me the everything will be okay bullshit. I've heard it enough 
we both know that it's true. Everything will be alright. But for right now, everything's not. And I think I just need to feel that for a little bit. So please, don't tell me how I should start fixing things for what changes I should be. Honestly, I just, I just need to wallow in my self-pity, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel better. Maybe I won't. But that's the only way I know how to cope. And it's worked so far. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. So, thank you for coming over. And for listening to all of that, I really do feel a little bit better. But this is something I need to recover from on my own. Maybe you're right. Maybe I don't have to handle this alone. I have no doubt that you could help carry the burdens I bear. But, being independent is what's important to me. And I love you, you are the bestest friend I've ever had. One of the most important people to me. But I need to be okay on my own. I need to know that I can get myself through this. Because if I can't, then even I'll start to get worried about me. I'm sure that that's a terrible way of thinking about it all going about it all and I'm sure it's not the healthiest but it's what I know so please go home <laughs> you are so good <laughs> to me <laughs> And I appreciate you wanting to stay, I really do. And I know that you're fighting with yourself, but trust me, if I didn't trust myself to be alone, then I wouldn't be alone. But I need to be alone right and it's not because I don't love you and I don't need you. It is because I need to know that I got myself. How about a deal, okay? Um... I can... We can make a rule. I have to text you every day. Make sure I'm okay. <laughs> it's not enough. You could, I don't know, come over once a day. Even if it's just for a second. If that's what you really want to do. It's a lot of work. Drive all the way over here. <laughs> all the way over. Yeah? T tomorrow? Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Yes, I promise. I'll be okay.
you know what? Yeah, actually, I really would like a hug. Thank you for caring. It means everything to me. Okay. <clears throat> well. I will see you tomorrow.